up. Doesn't the Bible tell us the earth's going to be burned up? Well, this is uh, what Peter talks about. And yes, on the surface, it would appear that the earth's going to be burned up. So uh, it is going to be destroyed. But we just have to read it more carefully because the rest of the scripture tells us that God is concerned with the earth. It's not going to be burnt up. Seasons are going to continue as long as the earth is there. So we have to look a bit more carefully. What is it that Peter is saying? The day of the Lord will come. That's the coming of the Lord Jesus back to this earth. As a thief in the night. In which the heavens will pass away with a great noise. The elements will be dissolved with fervent heat. And the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since these things will be destroyed like this, what kind of persons ought ye to be in all holy living and godliness, looking for and earnestly desiring the coming day of God, which will cause the burning heavens to be dissolved and the elements will melt with fervent heat? But, according to his promise, we look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. And we have to see in this that he's using symbolic language. It's not the literal earth that's going to be burnt up. It's the political and ecclesiastical systems which bear rule over the earth, which the Lord Jesus has come to replace. They're going to be destroyed. And a new heavens and a new earth on this earth, but a new rulership, the Lord Jesus and his immortalized saints, upon an earth which is changed so it reflects glory to God and worships God, that's the new heavens and the new earth. It's not that this earth is suddenly going to be all burnt up and disappear in a puff of smoke. Far from it. The Bible is abundantly clear. This is the earth and will exist forever. And God's will and purpose is going to be carried out upon this earth. Thank you. Thank you.